Christ said, I will build my church. That's corporate. The intention is a corporate body. There is a certain enjoyment that will only be achieved corporately. And a certain speaking from the Lord, a certain enlightening, uh, light shining from the Lord that will only come corporate. But that's just one wing. If you don't have the personal, you got a bird with one ring that's going to just fly in circles. Right? <laughs> they can't even fly. We need the personal. So we need to have a time with the Lord. And last Wednesday, and then in the material this week, I hope we got at least some feeling, some sense, maybe some help even how to do it. One thing is everything we've talked about in terms of God's purpose, you know, our organic salvation, uh, becoming the loving bride of the Lord, this won't happen to you anyway. Unless you develop a time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Unless you have a personal relationship with the Lord. So we need to spend time with the Lord. We, Mitchell and Angel, mm -hmm. even Zach, mm -hmm. even Zoe, her name means life. She needs to spend time with the Lord. Because otherwise, we've got a corporate aspect, which is good. So every day, you know, the manna needed to be gathered every day. Mm -hmm. We need to develop a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. You develop a relationship with any human being, it takes time. And if you don't spend time with that person, you don't have much of a relationship. So we need to spend private time, personal time, intimate time, affectionate time, spiritual time with the Lord. This should be daily. The best time, best time, early morning. Not just morning. Morning goes until noon. <laughs> for some of you, early morning might be 9 a.m. Uh, that, if that's early for you, that's okay. But the best time, you give the Lord the best. Mm -hmm. That's the first part of the day. When you just wake up, you're not busy with everything else. Set everything else aside. And it is so hard. You know, this age, the enemy wants, you know, probably all of you sleep with this right by your bed, right? Mm -hmm. First thing in the morning, you check what happened. How many messages did I get? Mm -hmm. Who won the basketball game? You know, whatever it is. Uh, what's the news? Mm -hmm. Right away, your time with the Lord is just dissipated. Mm -hmm. So set that aside. Mm -hmm. And we all have to learn this continuously. Mm -hmm. Don't think like, just because you've been around a while, this is automatic. Mm -hmm. So learn how to spend time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Give yourself to spend time with the Lord. Because this is an essential, indispensable practice mm -hmm. of the Christian life. So I hope this week we got some impressions. And maybe we have some experience. Now, one thing about experiences with the Lord, many of them are very private and personal. Mm -hmm. And it's just between the Lord and I. We, we don't need to share those with anybody else. Uh, but we can say, I really had a good time with the Lord today. I just felt like the Lord loved me. Maybe I had a big failure. And the Lord forgave me. Anyway, we, we can share. And this becomes encouraging to each one of us. It's like, wow, even Zach? Mm -hmm. If Zach can touch the Lord, <laughs> if Zach can get up in the morning, you know, to set some time with the What's stopping anybody else in the whole world from doing that? Right? So you want to give the rest of you some time, uh, share something. Know of the introduction at the end to next week, which is going to be really good. So I really enjoy the sharing. This is always so good. Um, I do make, need to make one comment, though. Um, a sister shared that she's not a morning person. This is a sister I had known for longer than some of you have been alive. Um, I just want to say, I don't believe there's no such thing. Or I don't believe it when anyone says I'm not a morning person. The problem is that you, you've just adjusted your being to staying up late at night. And so it's really hard to get up in the morning. 
You're just not used to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I mean, I was this way. Mm-hmm. This is my testimony. In college, I, this isn't a boast, but maybe it's a confession. I usually wouldn't start studying until after midnight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I'd get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I found if I could push through the 2 a.m. tiredness, I could make it till 4. Mm-hmm. As a result, I was not a morning person. <laughs> unless you count after midnight is morning. <laughs> so when I became a Christian, I heard this like spend time with the Lord in the morning. It was physically impossible because I wouldn't go to bed until really late. Over time, now I have a hard time sleeping until 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'll wake up. I just wake up. Mm-hmm. The key to getting up early, a lot of times people say is going to bed early. But I'll tell you that doesn't work. Because if you're not used to going to bed early, it's not going to do you any good to go to bed early. Because you're not going to be able to fall asleep. Key to getting up early is getting up early. Because then it works backwards. When you get to the evening, it's like, I'm tired. I got up at 6 this morning. I'm going to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And in a period of time, your body will readjust. Mm -hmm. So you'll get used to getting up early Mm -hmm. and you'll get used to going to bed early. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's just a practical matter. Now, our next series of topics are all related. How many parts does a human being have? Three, yeah. <laughs> a lot or three. <laughs> One of those is correct. Now, according to the Bible, we, Angel has three feet. We got, we got a, a physical body. We have a soul, which is our psychological being. And we have a spirit. All of the things we've been talking about, especially this semester, are pretty much having to do with our spirit. But we've still got a soul. And we still got a body. Mm-hmm. People get into a, a realm where they're paying attention or misapplying things. Uh, you know, there are spiritual problems, but let's take care of it through our physical body, mm-hmm. right? Or I've got a problem in my soul. Uh, I need to pray more. Mm-hmm. It's, it's always good to pray more. Mm-hmm. But we need to see how all these things fit together. Now we can say, um, how many of you are, are college students? Is, is, is your education important? Mm-hmm. I mean, really, in the grand scheme of things? No. Okay, that is the wrong answer. <laughs> your education is extremely important in the grand scheme of things, even for God's purpose. Mm-hmm. But that, that should be only if I study theology, right? No. Or go to Bible school. Okay, you guys are saying no. You know I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> if you didn't know that, you'd say yes. <laughs> so what we want to see, you know, uh, your college students, what should I study? Should I study? Should I just get a, a bachelor's? Should I get a math? Leon, is grad school? Is that worthwhile? Uh, I, mean, I, to, I got two Leons here. This is Dr. Leon. Who's the future Dr. Leon? Is there any point in this graduate school? Yeah, well, perhaps. There's a lot of point in that. Who, who, who should I marry if you're not married? You know, should I have children? Where should I live? What kind of food should I eat? I mean, if I'm sick, should I just pray? Should I see a doctor? You know, people get into an over-spiritual realm. But then on the other hand, they separate these things from things of God. It's like I've got my, my daily life, and then I've got my spiritual life. I'll, I'll just keep these apart. Without realizing they are intimately connected. And you need your daily life. You need your human life. You need a proper human life. Otherwise, you are no good for the Lord. 
So this week, you know what the topic's going to be? Education. And we're not doing this just in the way of, oh, we got to talk about this, you know, give some, like I said, your education is extremely important. We have to see why. We have to see what the Lord is going to gain out of it. We got the. Now, the title is not education, is it? What does it say? Pillar Builders. Pillar Builders. This is not just a catchy name. This is from the Bible. It's also catchy. Well, let's see. It says not just catchy. <laughs> so we're going to get into this this week. And I hope we, I hope we can get really in life. So Wednesday night. What time? Where? Fort Hall. One fifty. Right. Very good. We'll get into this. I, I think I think you're really going to not just enjoy this, but you're going to see something that you probably never considered before. So we'll get into that. We'll get into other things later, all these practical things. 